Hi, my name is Edwin Diender. I am the Chief Digital Transformation Officer of Huawei Enterprise Business Group. And we are here in our executive briefing center in Shenzhen, and we're looking at one of our solution domains that is specifically related to smart cities. There are two things that are important to understand. The first thing is digital platform. One of the things that makes Huawei stronger than anyone else is that we understand what it takes to help build a platform that can unlock the potential of different services that cities are using already today, but that are not integrated and working together yet. And that brings me to the second part, the element of collaboration and integration. So allowing systems and services, but also teams and departments, and even residents who are living in certain areas in cities to make use of services that today are disconnected. So that platform is what we are standing on right now. The floor that I'm standing on is a metaphor of a horizontal layer, almost like unified broadband that can link and that can bridge different information silos. So that is the first principle of a, different, of a digital platform. The second principle of that platform is integration. Let's say connectivity. On your right, my left, there is a smart light post, a smart trash can, um, different settings and services. In the corner, you see a bit of a manhole, which could be like a ditch in a road with sensor technology. So the internet of things is this horizontal layer. It is the baseline that creates a smart city foundation. And a foundation, as we all know, supports houses or constructions. So in smart city construction, the Internet of Things is the baseline for that. The cornerstone of that foundation is safe city. One of the principles that we follow is first safe and then smart. If an area or a region is not safe and not secure, it probably does not make sense to invest in efficiency in daily operations for government, because who would you do that for? No one wants to live in an area that is not safe. So using camera technologies for smarter traffic, uh, a better flow of people that go back and forth, and certainly a better understanding of critical incidents. For example, if water in canals is rising too fast, um, if there is a major uh, uh, weather accident, or what you can see behind me, in the intelligent operations center of a smart city, the digital twin of a physical city, where all these different systems and services are combined and where all the data sets are being visualized. Here is an example where you can see if there is a major traffic accident in a certain area of the city that perhaps already has a high risk mm -hmm. because it has too narrow streets versus too many people living in this area. How do you communicate? How do you collaborate? And how do you deal with these kind of incidents? That's an example of how smart city should work and a digital platform is supporting that. The second piece that sits on top of it comes with ecosystem. It never is being done alone. A city is not about one person living in one area that needs to renew a driver's license. It's about all the residents. So it's people who live there and work there. It's people who live somewhere else who are coming in and work and in the evening go back to their city where they live. It is about workers, people who are responsible for the daily operations of the city, and perhaps tourists or people who are passing through. These four, let's say, scenarios of people all need to be integrated and all need to be touched upon. And that means multiple layers of connectivity and multiple levels of integration. Multiple people, an ecosystem. The same goes for industries that are supported with this digital platform. So platform and ecosystem combined create a smarter city, which is safe and secure.